in the Christian world. The camp meetings started in the early 19th century. But the Seventh-day Adventist Church started its first camp meeting in the year 1868 in Michigan, United States of America. In this program, I'm going to tell you five secrets that the Seventh-day Adventists know about the camp meetings that other Christian communities might not have an idea. Welcome to this program. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. By subscribing to our channel, you help us reach other Christian communities around the world. Welcome to this program, and let's get started. My name is Pastor Edward Bore. I'm a preacher and a pastor of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to learn and to know more about you and the salvation you did for us on the cross. As we begin this program, lead us, teach us, and show us your way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Five secrets that the Seventh-day Adventists know about camp meetings that other communities might not have an idea. Secret number one is a time for soul searching. It's a time for thorough soul searching. It's a time that we leave all the duties and the cares of life and come together and assemble together in one place to listen to the word of God. It's a time to reflect. It's a time to leave any other thing aside and come together and sit down at the feet of Jesus and listen to the word of God. Where we lay aside our work, a government worker, seek for permission and come to the camp meeting. If you are a farmer, you lay aside your farming work, come to the camp meeting. If you are a businesswoman, a businessman, you lay aside all those activities and come sit down at the feet of Jesus and listen to the word of God that is brought by servants that were prepared and sent by the conference headquarters so that they uplift us in the word of God to sit down and look back and review the whole year and see how God has been with you. To look at the ups and downs of faith and how God came through, even amidst the challenges, the problems that you went through, the tears that you shed, the tears of joy, the, the tears of sadness and sorrow, but God saw you through. In the committee, as a Seventh-day Adventist, you come, I come, and we sit together. It's a time to reflect on the spiritual journey. It's a time to ask yourself questions. It's a time for confession of sin. To see how God has seen you through. We look at him through prayer and confession of our sins and to ask him for forgiveness. It's a time for spiritual renewal. It's a time to refresh again, to do spiritual refueling to listen to the word of God, to be energized again, to rise up again amid the weaknesses, amid the challenges, and to move forward. Therefore, secret number one, it is a time for the Seventh-day Adventists to do soul searching. Secret number two, it's a time to rebuild fellowship. It's a time where all-time friends come together reflect on the journey of faith for many years. It's a time different families come together to worship together, to reflect on spiritual journey together, to look back at what God has done in many years that has gone. It is also time for new friends to be made. It's time for new friends to worship together. It's time for parents to catch up with other parents. 
it's time for parents to bring their children before the throne of masses, before God to listen to the word of God. It is time to come together and worship and fellowship. It is time that the Lord is saying to every parent, bring me your children, that God may talk to them in a special way, that the youth will fellowship together, that the youth, young men and young women, young boys and young girls, come together to build friendships, come together to worship, come together to know each other better. It is time for the youth to fellowship together, to leave aside the cares of life, to leave aside all the activities and the duties of home and come to the camp meeting. It is a time that the school has closed and all learners, pupils and students of all ages have come together to listen to the word of God in the camp meeting. It is a time that parents reconnect with parents from other churches, from other communities, from other neighborhoods and catch up with stories of how faith has been, of how you've been going on with your spiritual life. It is time to rebuild fellowship. Come meeting is a great time that the church comes together, that churches come together, build friendships and relationships and worship together during this great season. Secret number three is celebrate and praise in song. The camp meeting is a time to celebrate and praise in song. This is a time when the Seventh-day Adventists come together with various choirs to come and sing and praise our Lord Jesus who has taken care of us, who has taken care of me for the whole year. It is time to praise. Time for congregational singing, quartets, solo singers, choirs, come together in praise and song. When you look at what God has done for you, when you look at what God has done for me, will make me sing and praise and thank Jesus for the journey, the many masses that he has shown us through the year. So it's time to celebrate and praise through music and song. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16, verses 13, tells us the time when the children of Israel came to worship God in different celebrations. Among these is the Feast of Tabernacles. That is the committee. That's why we come together. One of my favorite writers of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Ellen Goldwhite, in the book Testimonies, Volume 2, between page 500 and page 600, talks of interesting facts about the importance of camp meeting to the Seventh-day Adventists. I recommend that book to you, my dear viewer, that you read and listen to what inspiration says about the importance of this camp meeting. It is the time when the Seventh-day Adventists refocus on the three angels' messages of Revelation 14, verses 6 to 12 gives us a message of the three angels. During the camp meeting, the Seventh-day Adventists refocus on the messages of these three angels, much more the message of the third angel that encourages us to worship God, to listen to His voice in the last day, to participate in true worship, in biblical worship. During the camp meeting, the speakers emphasize a refocus of our mission as a Seventh-day Adventist Church during the camp meeting. That is a secret that the Seventh-day Adventists do know. Secret number five. The camp meeting in itself is an object lesson. This is the time when the Seventh-day Adventist Church is strongest. This is the time when the members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church re-energize we come and experience the best time for worship. The order, the neatness of the camp meeting, and the good test of the camp meetings shows that this is a time to come to the feet of Jesus as a church, as a Seventh-day Adventist believer, and worship God and thank Him because of His goodness 
and his love for the holier. Those are the five secrets that the Seventh Adventists know about the committees. Maybe, maybe not, other Christian communities have no idea. I welcome you to this year's come meeting. Welcome to the celebration. A great time, my dear viewer, to celebrate, to thank God through singing, through listening to the word of God, through prayers, the choirs, soloists, singing groups. I welcome you that we celebrate together. I welcome you that we don't miss to come before the throne of masses. Through your presence to listen to all the presentations that are going to be done and to also celebrate and worship God through your giving. The giving of your come meeting offering. What have you planned to give to your God for his goodness? Welcome to the come meetings. Let's have a closing prayer. Gracious, loving, heavenly Father, I thank you for the celebrations of the come meeting. As we prepare, as we come to listen, as we come to thy throne of masses, please, Lord, listen to our prayer. 